Oh, no! The reindeer has jumped into the water. Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we ah. do? The reindeer. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of an animal we found in our garden. Hi, Leo. It looks like a young deer. That's what I thought, too. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, Sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Woodlands. I see you've made a new friend, a young reindeer. We think it might have been separated from its mother. You just missed its herd, Junior Rangers. A group of reindeer is called a herd, and its mother should be in that herd. It left the Woodlands this morning for the much cooler north. How can reindeer survive in the cold? Reindeer have fur with two coat layers. 
The undercoat is soft wool that stays close to their skin, while the outer coat is made up of long and hollow hairs that trap body heat. Reindeer have a strong sense of smell, too, which allows them to find food in the snow. How can reindeer walk and run on snow, Ranger Rocky? Reindeer have four toes on each foot called hooves. When a reindeer walks on snow, its hooves spread out wide to support its weight and help it walk steadily. The sharp edges of the hooves give reindeer a good grip on icy or rocky surfaces. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are a lot of hoof prints. It looks like every hoof print has four hooves. And on this side are paw prints. Do you know where we should go? Over there are a lot of hoof prints, each with four hooves. And over there are paw prints. So where should we go? There? That's right! Reindeer have feet with four hooves, so these must belong to a herd of reindeer. Let's go! That's strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Oh no, what can we do? Don't go anywhere, we'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the, the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all expense paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer upper, Fluffy, and the imp. Today's first topic is. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is cats. In ancient times, they were believed to be magical creatures that brought fortune and were often shown in paintings. This mystery country boasts a famous statue resembling a big Your second clue is the pyramids. It's the last ancient wonder of the world standing. It took 20 years to build. It would be nearly impossible to build the pyramids with the same materials today. Wonder if Sloppy could help with that. <laughs> Imp, huh? you are correct. Uh -huh. Today's mystery country is Egypt. Congratulations, Imp. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Huh? Stop right there. You can run, but you can't hide. Huh? I'm gonna catch you. What's going on, Tim? Can we play too? I'm Bowen the Brave. I fight for justice and all mankind. <laughs> I'm trying to save the world. Bowen? Calc and I just watched The Adventures of Bowen the Brave. He's a medieval superhero who fights off bad guys, saves people, and is fearless and strong. I want to be just like him. Hey, Numbers, come on over. I'm going to carry all of you to show everyone that I'm strong, just like Bowen the Brave. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Let's show everyone how many numbers I can carry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Are you okay, Tim? I'm good, don't worry. Anyway, Bowen the Brave is not only strong, he's also quick on his feet. Let's show them, Calc. There's this part in the movie where Bowen jumps from one giant lily pad to another to get across a huge river. Come on, follow me. That looks dangerous. I think I'll just watch you. Yeah, me too. See you on the other side, guys. Oops, ow! Are you guys okay? Hey, Paula. Doesn't this look like El Goldrado? <gasps> You're right, Billy. It is El Goldrado. I want to experience Bowen's adventures for real. Can we go, please? Why not? We all know where El Goldrado is, so let's go to the jungle. Whee! This is where ten evil bandits ambush Bowen the Brave. Remember, Calc? Remember? Wow, he must be really strong to fight off ten bandits on his own. That's not all. He can also jump really high and far, like this. <clears throat> Want to try? Um, that looks dangerous. How about we check out those flowers instead? <laughs> when you're a hero, you have no time to look at flowers. There are more important things to do, like saving the day. Hmm. I need to get to a high spot to see the enemies coming. Aha! I'll climb this tree. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You've seen nothing yet. I'm going to... Ah! Uh, Tim! <laughs> Jungle boy! Phew! You saved Tim! <laughs> Jungle Boy! <laughs> Save Tim! <laughs> the hero still lands on his feet. Good morning, class. Today, you'll have to figure out which activities are safe to do and which are too dangerous to do. Are you ready? Here's the first activity. Reading a book. Is it safe? or too dangerous to do. Reading a book is a safe thing to do. That's right, Billy. Next activity, running with a pair of scissors. Running is safe to do. It's healthy to keep active. That's incorrect, Tim. Running to keep active is healthy, but running with a sharp object like scissors is too dangerous to do. You could hurt yourself or someone else. Next activity, dancing. Dancing is safe to do. Huh? I wasn't finished yet. Dancing on top of an active volcano. It's definitely too dangerous to do. Sorry, Tim, you got it wrong. Billy is the winner. Congratulations. Bye, Jungle Boy. Look, Paula. It's Mr. Totem Head and Buddy over there. But Bowen the Brave was really here. He discovered El Goldrado and crossed the river to save his people. No, you're wrong. It's just a movie. None of it really happened. But you saw it in the movie, too. He was standing right there where you are. Ah, just leave me alone. Great. Just great. <gasps> Buddy's in trouble. I'll jump on these lily pads just like Bowen did. Hang on, Buddy. I'm coming to save you. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Tim! Oh, dear. Jungle Boy! Are you okay, Tim? What were you thinking? I just wanted to save Buddy. It's okay. I didn't need help. Why did you jump in the river like that? Well, Bowen the Brave managed to step on those lily pads so easily. What? Not this movie again. 
I get it. You want to watch a movie and enjoy it. But don't do dangerous stuff. What do you mean? This is how you enjoy a movie and keep yourself safe. Step one, watch and enjoy the movie. Step two, talk about your favorite moments. Step three, if something looks dangerous, don't copy it. That's it. This is how you enjoy a movie and keep yourself safe. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome back. Okay, Tim, let's follow buddy steps on how to enjoy a movie and keep ourselves safe. Step one, watch and enjoy a movie. Calc and I watched the adventures of Bo and the Brave, and it was awesome! Hey, what's the two? It's a great movie! Step two, talk about your favorite moments. My favorite part was when Bowen ate all the bananas to save the entire village. Mine was when Bowen crossed the river by jumping on the giant lily pads. But now I know it doesn't work. Which brings us to step three. If something looks dangerous, don't copy it. Many actions we see in movies are done by professionals trained to do them safely. We shouldn't copy them because we might get hurt. I'm sorry for making you guys worry. Thanks for saving me again, Jungle Boy. <laughs> Jungle Boy, save Tim! We learned how to enjoy movies without copying dangerous actions, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number of the day. Six total hats. Six lily hats. Dance with Cal. What are you doing, Tim? I can't copy Bowen's dangerous actions, but I can do something else that he's also very good at. What's that, Tim? Eating a lot. How <laughs> yummy. You guys want some? <laughs> sure, Tim. Do join us on our next adventure. Welcome back! That's strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Oh no, the water is moving too strong here. You got it, hero. Well done. Phew, that was close. You saved its life, hero.
Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. If you want to find the young reindeer's herd, just look for a grassland near a hill. Not for an abandoned mill or a beefsteak on a grill, but look for a grassland near a hill. I see. So not for an abandoned mill or a beefsteak on a grill, but, but look, look for a grassland near, near a hill. hill. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young reindeer's herd, you have to look for a grassland near a hill. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a grassland near a hill. What's that? It's a stream with fish in it. So let's continue. Is this a grassland near a hill? Hmm, no. It's a village near a hill. Let's move on. How about here? Is this a grassland near a hill? Yes, it is. And there is the reindeer's herd. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look! That reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it. We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished.